which headset should you buy? And it all really depends on whether you earn this, the Quest 2. Now, if you don't earn a Quest 2 and you are thinking, that Quest 2 looks really good. It's only $200, pounds, whatever it is. I should give it a go. Um, I'm not sure whether I'd recommend it. And there's a few reasons why. So if you don't already own it, if you don't own a VR headset at all, I wouldn't recommend getting the Quest 2 anymore. And it's not because it's not a good headset. It's mainly for the fact that there are better ones out there. But it does depend on what game you're going to play. Now, if you're all you're interested in playing is Beat Saber or Gorilla Tag, and that's all you want to play, potentially, this headset will be fine. It will do you... It will do you for the next few years. It will. So, I can't say don't buy it, but I think if you're going to be playing those games and then you're going to be wanting to play other games, maybe this isn't for you. Not only that, but I would suggest maybe waiting a few months because the rumours are that the Quest 3 S or the Quest 3 Lite is coming out and it's going to be the same price as this but with the better chipset, which means you're going to be able to play the newer games, for example, when Batman comes out, when Aliens comes out. But again, if you're not bothered about playing those games, this might come down dramatically in price. The potential is they're going to stop selling it. And would I recommend picking this up if you've got a PC that plays PC VR games? Yes, but I suspect that if you've got a top-end spec PC, unless you're really just wanting to try VR out, and, you know, as this is a test, test case scenario for you, then it probably is fine. But I do think there are better alternatives out there if you're going to be playing PC VR. And this is where this comes in. Now, if you're going to be playing PC VR you still have access to all the Quest games via PC VR. But this headset has everything the Quest 3 headset has for not much more than the Quest 2 costs you. It's that mid-ground between the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. It's actually, you can pick up some really good deals, like even cheaper than, than, than that, even cheaper than the middle ground. But this comes with ma mainly... Everything the Quest 3 comes with, apart from the processor, which you're not going to need if you're using PC VR. It's incredibly lightweight, and it comes with pancake lenses. And it's got some even cooler features like the motorized IPD, which is your pupil distance. That's all done inside the headset. You can adjust it, and it will actually, you'll hear it go, Zzz. It's cool, okay? Also has very good inside-out tracking, and the controllers are right up there, in my opinion. I would also suggest this for standalone fitness. However, some of the games are, don't seem to be updating at the moment, which that might just be a delayed thing, but it is a little bit of a worry. But if you're using it for PC VR, then this headset is probably is better than the Quest 2. The only disadvantage with this headset is... At some point in the next couple of months, they're going to be announcing the Pico 4 S or 5 or both. And there's going to be a jump in that. But that will knock this down in price if they're still selling it. Which I suspect they will. Now, if you don't have a PC, but you do have a PS5 and you're wanting to play a lot... To be fair, a lot of games have come out now on the on the P PSVR 2. Oh, shit. Then you could quite highly recommend this, but it's not cheap. It's it's as expensive as the Quest 3, but they do have some exclusives, like Gran Turismo. I can't remember what number it were on. Yeah, seven. <laughs> so it is an alternative, but it is expensive, and you do need a PC VR, uh, and you do need the PlayStation 5 to, to be able to use it. But at some point, apparently, it's going to have PC support. You know, when that happens, we might have to do a little review and, and see whether I would recommend it for that. But it would be wired, which brings me on to the next headset, <laughs> the DPVR E3. I do highly recommend this one, especially for creators or people who are constantly having to take their headset off to readjust things because this feature is freaking awesome. I know it's on staff, but I could, and I thought it was rubbish, but I honestly, well, after using it, this is my go to if I've got stuff to tinker with, which you'll find when you're doing pc vr is a lot in fact it, if i'm sat down this is my pc vr go to 100 percent. the only reason when i say you know stood up and doing things actively actively 
is the fact that it's got the wire and it's not an option to have wireless, which because I've got other headsets, um, I sometimes use PC VR stood up with like the Pico 4. And it is a bit expensive. That's not really their fault. Like there's only so much you can do. Meta have of, of affected the pricing by, you know, what's that word I'm looking for? Subsidizing. <laughs> Couldn't remember what the bloody word was. So it is, and it's not got pancake lenses, but honestly, when I'm using it, I can't really, I don't notice enough of a difference. The sweet spot's pretty good. It's, it's pretty big, but it's a viable PC VR option if that's all you're going to be playing. And then we get on to this one. So this is the latest headset, the big, the big boy. And I can honestly really recommend this if you've got a Quest 2 and you're wanting an upgrade because you've bought a lot of games already on the Quest 2 store. And this is standalone. Yes, it does PC VR, but it's not as comfortable as the Pico 4 in my opinion. And if you're going to be using it for PC VR, uh, I would suggest saving yourself some money. Like if you, you know, if you've got the, if you've got a, if you've got a Quest 2 and you're using the Quest 2 for PC VR, I can't see enough of a reason for you to need to upgrade to this. But if you're standalone only and you're wanting to play the massive new games that are coming out soon in Batman and in Aliens, you you're gonna need to upgrade to this unfortunately and it is expensive and i have the cheaper one which is the 128 gigabyte and honestly it's fine but i suspect i suspect those bigger games are going to be big memory memory wise <laughs> not just big big memory wise and it's it'll i don't i don't even know if this is going to to do it and you, you can't use expandable storage on it there's no there's no way of doing anything like that so there is that worry i never even thought of that Shum. hopefully even if i have to delete every other game to play the damn thing hopefully it's gonna be enough jesus you what can you do anyway if that has helped you at all if you're new to vr or you or you already have a quest 2 there are options available for you that are not just this obviously the more high-end vr headsets such as the big screen beyond look amazing i haven't tried it so i can't recommend it um same with the apple vision pro it's not really a vr headset i mean it is it does all the same things as a vr headset but it's uh, it's not a vr headset in the same way as all the ones that i've shown you Apart from the fact that you can do PC VR on it now. But I again I haven't tried it, so I can't I can't suggest those. And I really wish I could suggest this over this for standalone. But if you're already in the meta ecosystem, you're probably gonna want this. And if you're not, but you want to play exclusive meta games, standalone, you're still gonna want this. Which is difficult. It's difficult for me to take because this is is a, a it's just a, a more comfy headset. And at the end of the day, when you're wearing it for that long, you realise how front heavy even this is, even with a good strap. It's it's not as well balanced as this. But let me know in the comments. Guys, have you got one of these headsets? Which one would you recommend? If you're new to VR, comment down below and we might be able to help you out. And if you do have any of these headsets, or you're thinking about getting any of these headsets and you wear glasses, I would seriously suggest getting prescription lenses for the quest for the quest no, for the quest free or the pico 4 and i would suggest ons vr they are my go-to i've got them for every single headset apart from the ones that i can't have it for which is the dp vr which is a shame but they are really good quality and i really highly suggest if you've got glasses and especially if you're going to be jumping around and doing things, even especially on the on the Quest 3, I would I would seriously suggest checking them out. Link in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.